Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to St. Francis High School as we're about to get set for this varsity soccer match between the St. Francis Lancers and the visiting Valley Christian Warriors. It's a very pleasant 62 degrees, but it feels a lot warmer here. And as I'm looking up from our broadcasting booth, there doesn't appear to be a cloud in the sky. Uh, all of the numbers in this match tend to favor the home team, St. Francis Lancers. They come in with a 7-3-6 and six record, and we'll find out more about their statistics and their prospects as we go on, as we've just kicked off here. That's Dimitri Castaneda over on the right side. That's headed in back into Warrior territory. We'll see if we can get some numbers on the Valley Christian players a little later. Now passed up. That's Ryan Mayer. Long pass over there. Now it's broken up by Valley Christian. Headed back in. The Lancers keep the pressure on. That's Corey Hill running along the right side, dealing with some traffic. Now he gets a attempted slide tackle there by the Warriors. Now passed back to Sebastian Mendoza. Mendoza trying to do a centering pass, but it's broken up. And that'll be a successful clear. As we was saying, the Warriors coming in with a less successful record of 3-15-1 so far. I'll talk more about them when we get to a break in the action. And that one's headed out, and it looks like a warrior ball. At home, the Lancers tend to do fairly respectively. They've got a 3-1-3 and three record. By contrast, Valley Christian has lost all of its games playing away from its home stadium but one. They are coming in with a 1-10 and 10 road record. That was a goal kick. I thought that was going to be a throw-in. And now it's a Lancer ball. That's uh, Mendoza with the throw in. Kept in, though, by the Lancers. Now that's Demetrius Giannopoulos. And the ball's out, but it'll retain, the Lancers will retain possession. By the way, this is Mike Messner here uh, with you, giving you the action and you're taking it as I give it to you. Now kept back in. Good teamwork there by Valley Christian, but they need to get a clear. They need to get that out of their territory. And they do momentarily, and now that looks like it's headed out of bounds. So the Warriors will probably get possession, and that one went all the way into the stands. This is the Ron Calcagno uh, Stadium, by the way, named for the longtime uh, St. Francis football coach, athletic director, and sports camp director. I attended St. Francis sports camp for many summers in my halcyon youth. And slight penetration there, but it's going to be another throw in for Valley Christian. Trying to keep possession. Now the Lancers will get it clear, or will they? No, kept in there. Now going back to Sebastian Mendoza. Corey Hill for the Lancers. Now back to their goaltender. And he's going to pick that up and get that back into play. Rolling it back out to one of his defenders. That was Dimitri Castaneda. Now picked up by Ryan Mayer over on the right side. Now he gives a center pass, and it gets just by Elias or Elias Rekas. Lancers keep it in, though. Valley Christian trying to get it cleared. They get it by one Lancer. Now passed over to the left side. He hesitates, and he clears it. But St. Francis keeps it in. Now some head action. Now off the chest of one of the defenders. 
There's Castaneda. There's Will Mack. Long pass over on the left side. That's going to be out shooting some of his teammates. And that'll head out of bounds. Lancers retain possession, though. Now down along the left side. Picked up again. I believe that was, uh, that may be Giannopoulos. Corey Hill will be taking the Lancer throw in right alongside the goal area of Valley Christian, taking a long run at it and a long throw, and it's taken in by the Valley Christian goaltender. I think that may be Eric Waltz there. Waltz is a six foot three junior, if I've got his number correct. Now a little bit of jostling there and Valley Christian coming up with it along the left side and they'll retain possession there. While we have a break in the action, I said earlier that the statistics tend to favor the Lancers and I can tell you that in the first half, the margin is about a five to one ratio that the Lancers score more than the Warriors, 1.9 to 0.4 to be exact. So the Lancers, at least if statistics tell us anything, come in very confident and feeling very good about their chances. There's a pass over there. Now brought back into Valley Christian territory. That's Tyler Rowey, number 11. He's coming along the right side, centering pass, broken up, and Waltz coming up with the recovery for Valley Christian. Still no score here. We're coming up on 33 minutes left in this first half. Waltz putting it back into play. Coming up on the left side for the Warriors, trying to get around the St. Francis defense. Now centering pass, that's Ryan Mayer. Broken up now, and the Warriors keep it in, and that one is over the top. I think that may be the first shot on goal by the Warriors, and arguably it's the first shot on goal we've had by either side all day. So chalk one up for Valley Christian. Valley Christian trying to keep it in, sort of a bicycle kick there. Ah, that one's headed out. Almost onto the uh, St. Francis bench there, I think. And Sebastian Mendoza, who's a senior this year. He'll probably be playing some soccer next year in his freshman year in college, wherever that may be. And so we'll take it again with Mendoza. This time more of a lateral throw. That's to Will Mack. Max struggling, and he lost possession. Valley Christian again over the top, and that one had a ticket to fly. So that one went over the track and almost onto the uh, far fence there. But we've got another ball in, and so we have a goal kick, and here we go. There's Corey Hill. Now Tyler Rowey keeping it in. He's going to need to get a center pass. He tries for a center pass. And the goalkeeper there on two great deflections. That is a mobile goaltender. He's able to defend both of those St. Francis shots. That would have been curtains for most other goaltenders. So kudos to Eric Waltz there. Great offensive effort there for the Lancers. Couple of shots on goal, but not quite enough. That may be a play of the game right there, and so we'll probably put that in the highlights reel. Throw in now by Mendoza. He gets it out to his teammate, Will Mack. Mack along the left side. Slide tackle there by Valley Christian. So at least that'll break up some of the momentum that the Lancers might have been feeling there. 
throw in now. Headed back, and that will be... Not sure who that went off there. Whether we're going to have a goal kick or a corner kick, but the way the players are lining up, it would appear that it's going to be a St. Francis corner kick. That'll be the first for this match. <clears throat> Looking at the WCAL standings, St. Francis is currently running fourth. I'll get back to that as soon as we have a break in the game. Header there by the Valley Christian defense. Not quite a clear, though. St. Francis maintains, but no, they're going to lose possession. But they managed to keep it back in. That was Colin Hamilton. But now Valley Christian making a desperate attack, coming along the left side. So it's, so it's a three-on-one situation. Managed to keep it in, and now it's going to go out. St. Francis will pick that up, but that says a lot for the St. Francis defense that they were able to get back in time and give their goalie a little bit of cover there. St. Francis is going to have to get a clear, though, because they've definitely lost the momentum. And the whistle goes. Valley Christian's going to get the uh, penalty kick, I believe. Headed in. That's Thiago Galdino for the Warriors. He's a senior this year. From Galdino, centering. And it's in the net! Valley Christian strikes first. And the St. Francis goaltender is left wondering what just happened. And I can't say as I blame him. So the Valley Christian Warriors draw first blood in this varsity match this morning. KMVT Sports would like to thank our sponsor, Altos Mobile Massage. Massage can change your mental and physical state and inspire you to give power and energy to solutions. Altos Mobile Massage brings the massage to you. Sometimes a little pressure is a good thing. So St. Francis now wondering what they're going to do against a team that wasn't even supposed to score one goal in the first half, and yet they find themselves down. Not a situation the Lancers find themselves in very much, and certainly not on their home turf. Now the ball's in again. Whistle goes. It looked as if Valley Christian was going to be able to pick that up. But St. Francis will retain possession. That didn't make the uh, Warrior coach Bill Stryker all too happy. Now it's centered in. That's Dimitri Castaneda. Long in and Eric Waltz with that sensitivity that only the most astute goaltenders have is able to come away from that. Eric Waltz all in black there. Kind of a classic goaltender look for him. Oh, back header there off of, I think that might have been Will Mack. And Valley Christian bobbled that slightly, so the Lancers will get that one back. Here's Castaneda trying to get a centering pass. Now it's back to his fullback. Now over to the right side. Some room to maneuver. There's Mack. Mack passing. That was to Castaneda. Castaneda with a long drive in. Trying to keep it in, but the flag went up. So that will be change in possession. So Valley Christian will take that one back. Valley Christian running seventh in the WCAL standings right now. Their division record is three wins, eight losses. St. Francis with four wins, three losses, and four draws. Valley Christian kind of gave that one away, so that one's back to the Lancers. Let's see what they can do with it. That's Mendoza with the throw in. Whistle going. No, you're going to have to drop back a little bit. There's Mack. Mack passing back to, I think that may be Colin Hamilton. Cleared momentarily by the Warriors. 
Mendoza making a kick for it, missed the ball. Now there's Ryan, Ryan Mayer that is. And that one got past Corey Hill. And Valley Christian looking for a clear and they get one momentarily. The Lancers now volley it back in. And that'll be an offside, I believe. So Valley Christian will get the ball back. The look of the Valley Christian defense, and in particular, Eric Waltz, their goaltender, really defies what you would see on paper. So at least so far in the early going, I'd have to give this to Valley Christian in both points and on intangibles. But right now, St. Francis has the ball back. That was Will Mack trying to get that away. Now it's Ryan Mayer. Mayer dribbling on the center. There he passes. Taking a shot on goal, but that's going to be wide to the left, and that's off the foot of Elias Rekas. Rekas is a midfielder and forwarder. He's a 5'9 senior. Playing one of his last games here at Calcano Stadium. The Warriors will get the goal kick. Headed back in. And Valley Christian getting another clear. Coming along and St. Francis kind of making a desperation move to get that one cleared. And we're bringing out our third game ball. Somebody better sh chase those things down if we're going to save some time here. So it looks like Valley Christian is going to have a throw in here. Broken up there. Valley Christian retained possession, but they're going to lose some yardage there. On a day like today, I think you tend to forget that it's winter. Um, we're in pushing 80 degree heat, or we have been the last few days. Um, it's still reasonably early in the day, but much, much warmer than you'd expect for winter, even in the Bay Area. Kick there now by Castaneda. That was off of James Holland. I think he may be the team captain. I believe that's Holland. Now back to Castaneda. Centering pass, but it's broken up there. Now headed back in by Castaneda. Ball's about at midfield, but it's broken up again by Valley Christian. They're not able to capitalize as the Lancers do kick it back in. And that one's going to require a little bit of a jog to pick up there. Getting back to the WCAL standings, um, the head of that division right now, or the division leader, is St. Ignatius. They've got a 7-1-3 and three record. <clears throat> Archbishop Mitty playing them very close. They are undefeated at 6-0-5. Now St. Francis bringing the ball back in. Waltz managing to jump out, and I think Waltz might be uh, a good candidate for the basketball team next year if he decides not to play soccer again. 6'3 height. And he is, from what I can tell, he is the tallest man on these Valley Christian Warriors. He may be the tallest man on the field. James Holland is 6'5". Well, I was a little off. Now pass back. Eh, fakes a pass. Now he brings it forward and dumps that one back in. Long pass along the left side. Maybe even too long. Now there's a centering pass by the Lancers. Over the head of their forwards. Now trapped and a shot on goal and that will go wide to the left. That's Will Mack that did that one. Will is a midfielder and defenseman. He's a six foot oh junior. 
So he's got one more year for these St. Francis Lancers, if indeed he chooses to come back. Speaking of height, I think I mentioned this. James Holland, the team captain, is a defender. He's a senior, and he stands six foot five. So he's the tallest man on either side this morning. Now over the heads of most of the defenders, there's Mendoza. St. Francis will retain possession there. Mendoza with the throw in. That's to Mayer. Mayer to Holland. Now back to Holland. Holland looking for a good pass, but now he's being swarmed on. And he'll kick that all the way back to his goalie. And the goalie's going to get rid of it. St. Francis needs to get a clear here. There's Tyler Rowey running after it, trying to do a leaping header. But Valley Christian comes up with it, and that was about three feet away from us being in a 2-0 game. So we're just past the 20-minute uh, mark here in this first half. Valley Christian still holding a 1-0 advantage. There's Holland. Holland with a sort of shovel pass to Mayer. Now back to Holland. Holland looking for a place to kick it. And he kicked it up the field, but there wasn't anybody there to pick up that pass. Just to finish off the standings that we were giving a little while ago. So Archbishop Mitty, which has an English teacher in it by the name of Christina Otaiko, my best friend from college. How are you, Tina? Uh, Bellarmine College Prep in third place with six, the 6-3-2 six, and two record, St. Francis holding fourth. Right below them is Sacred Heart, uh, which is at a 5-4-2 and two record. Sarah and then with 5-6. and six. Valley Christian, I've already mentioned, in seventh. And bringing up the rear is Archbishop Reardon with an 0-11 record so far. Now over on the left side, I think there was a little bit of a dispute about who was going to throw that ball in but it would appear that the Lancers have it. Tico Halpern, and I hope I got his name right, okay, coming in now for St. Francis. That's number 18. Now St. Francis. Elias Rekas took a little bit of a spill there, but St. Francis will retain possession. And Rekus is up and ready to go. Now the throw in. St. Francis maintaining possession. That's Rekus. Now he passes it back. And it's broken up, but St. Francis retains possession. That's Mendoza. And Valley Christian. Will they be able? I don't know if they're going to be able to capitalize on that clear, but they've maintained possession. Now there's a pass over to the left side. And St. Francis is going to pick that ball back up. Valley Christian's had a number of good chances, but they have not been able to build on that one goal advantage until now. Or up to now, that is. There's Dimitri Castaneda. There's Rowie. And Rowie has it taken away from him. It'll buy some time for the Warriors, but St. Francis will retain possession. And the whistle goes. I think we're just making sure we've got the right Lancer throwing the ball in. That's headed out. Tico Halpern now throwing it in. That's trapped there by Elias Rekus. Now back to Mendoza. Now centered to Mayer. Now Mayer back to Holland. Holland again looking for a place to pass it. But he's covered. He's going to send that back to... Castaneda, Castaneda taking his time now. He manages to get it to midfield. And now passed over to Rekas. Rekas bringing in a warrior territory. Long way to run for Sebastian Mendoza, but he does get a centering pass. 
And the fullbacks are able to clear it, but here come the Lancers again. Are they going to get a shot on goal? And great try there by Tyler Rowey. As we would say in hockey, that'd be a good shift for him, but Eric Waltz, that great big Warrior goalkeeper, was able to fend off that attack. Goal kick now for the Warriors. We have 15 minutes to go here in this first half. And up and down. And Valley Christian able to keep possession of it, at least for the moment. Pass backwards. And Valley Christian's going to keep that one. No, it's that's going to be a uh, penalty kick. I beg your pardon. Giving the signal. And he dumps it in. Now it's off the foot of one of the Lancers, and the Lancers seem to have recovered. No. Valley Christian keeping possession. Driving it in along the left side. Trapped very nicely. But... Valley Christian keeps it in. Now they're passing it back to their defenders, trying to work it in, hoping that the Lancers don't take away from them, but apparently they do. There's Halpern. Halpern over now to Rekus. Rekus trying to get through some traffic, and he does. Now shot on goal over the top. That may be just the third or fourth shot that the Lancers have had on goal so far, not counting corner kicks and rebounds off of corner kicks. So my guess is that Seth Alberico is going to have a thing or two to say to his squad when we go to intermission. Now that one's more of a line drive kick right into the hands of Mendoza. He passed by that's intended to pass there for Corey Hill, but it was broken up by the Warriors. Here's Mendoza with the throw in to Mayer. Mayer back to Castaneda. Castaneda over to Holland. Holland being very deliberate as usual. Dribbling up. Now to Halpern. To Hill. Hill trying to keep uh, control of it. Now it's taken away from him. Good aggressive defense there. That's Jason Dong. He's a senior on the Valley Christian Warriors. And nice tackle by Dong. Yeah, the referee is giving him a little bit of advice. Mendoza with the throw in. Long throw. That's over the head of Halpern. But Halpern able to take advantage. Now getting a centering pass. And it's in the net. And the Lancers get the equalizer with about 11.57 left in this first half. And this time it's Eric Waltz looking at his team saying, what just happened? Well, as coaches often said, it may have gotten by Eric Waltz, but it got by several other men before it got past him. So St. Francis... In better, in a return to form, it would seem, get the equalizer with about 12 minutes left to play in this first half. And some new numbers coming onto the field now for the Valley Christian Warriors. So we'll see what happens to them with the remainder of this half. Pass back to their sweeper, but it's reflected there or deflected. St. Francis maintains possession. Now it's cleared momentarily by the Warriors. St. Francis, maybe they smell blood. They're going to make another run for it here. That's Rekus. Long centering pass, and it's to Corey Hill. And Hill made a huge shot there that went over the top. That might have been a field goal if we had been playing football. So St. Francis, the momentum and maybe the strategic control of the game has now gone back to the Lancers. The 
it's probably a testament to the resilience of this Lancer team, and particularly its defense, that they were able to rally back. Now the goal kick coming in from the Warriors. Passed over to the left side. But he, that forward is surrounded by the opposition. Now, Valley Christian coming up with it again. Looking for a place to pass, but it's taken off him. Now Tyler Rowey over to Corey Hill. Hill trying to keep it in, but it's taken off him. By number three there. Now Hill picks it up again. He's past that defender and a long centering pass, but that's gonna be too long. And we'll have another goal, goal kick there by Valley Christian. Got about 9.30 left to go in this first half. For those of you that uh, keep track of statewide rankings, the St. Francis Lancers are ranked 106th in the state of California as of this morning. Valley Christian, a little bit further behind, ranked 790. Now Mendoza going to be coming back with the throw in for St. Francis. Good long throw in there. Valley Christian comes up with it. Now kicking it down the field. Some people there waiting. That might have been an offside trap if they'd received it. Now back up into Warrior territory. And Waltz lets it get past him. And somehow or another, that ball, I did not see if that went into the net. It, would, it appeared to me as if it hadn't quite made it, but the St. Francis side is saying that that was a goal and it did cross the line. So under the rules of this league, it, that is a goal. And St. Francis, living up to their statistical reputation, in a play that could have gone either way from my perspective, did manage to come away with that score. Now Valley Christian finding itself down for the first time in this game. And St. Francis now definitely with the momentum into the last few minutes of this first half. Maybe sensing that they have their opponents on the ropes. Now kept in over on the right side. Pass over to Corey Hill. Hill centering over the heads of the forwards. But now, kind of a choppy shot there. In the center left of the field there. I think that might have been Elias Reckes there with the shot. Eric Waltz, not needing to worry too much about that one. Just under seven minutes to go here. The Lancers come up with that one. Now Valley Christian, they've got to get an attack going for their own spirit, if nothing else. But St. Francis keeps pouring it on. Now back into the face of Tyler Rowey. Now they're trying to get a centering pass. That one's deflected by one of the Valley Christian defenders. And I think we may be looking at a St. Francis corner kick, and we are. Not much of a good, well, that may have been just a, no, I guess that was a corner kick because it was kicked. It wasn't thrown in. Centering pass, and Waltz gobbles that one up. Not this time. to be put back into play now by the Valley Christian Warriors. Sort of a line drive goal kick there. Fielded by Ryan Mayer off his chest or his shoulder. And that one will be back into the hands of the Valley Christian Warriors.
One statistic we haven't talked about yet is the way these two teams face off against each other. They have played once before this season. St. Francis came out on the winning end on that one. I'll give you some more information on that as we start our second half. But now the Lancers on the move again. Now over the right side, that's Mendoza fielding the long pass, trying to dribble around. Now back up, now centering pass, a header, and that one is over the top. Eric Walt saying, yep, I had to reach up for that. Using your height to your advantage. That's what my basketball coach has always told me. And the whistle goes, and I think that's just an affirmation that St. Francis is retaining control of the ball. We may be headed for a corner kick, and I think we are. And now it's put into play. And that one appeared to go off the foot uh, or the leg of Corey Hill, the senior forward. Now we're going to try that one again. That's Sebastian Mendoza. He's a senior defensive or defender. He'll be putting it into play for the Lancers. Here it comes. And that one over the top. And I think that, may have sh that shot may have gone off of a Valley Christian defender because we're going to have a third straight corner kick mm -hmm. from the right side this time. And here this one comes. Higher than the other two. Waltz is able to leap up and snag it. And St. Francis comes away from that run empty. Coming up on the three-minute mark now here in this first half. Waltz drop-kicking it this time. St. Francis fields it. And here they come again. Now a long pass to Corey Hill. And the whistle goes. That one's in the net, but I don't believe that's going to count as a goal. I think there may have been an obstruction penalty or a penalty of some kind because Valley Christian is going to take that ball out and they won't fall any further behind. Be put into play now by the Warriors. Headers and another header and a third header. Valley Christian coming up with it for the moment and then it's taken off him by a Castaneda. Here comes Corey Hill along the right side. Hill's running to daylight right now, but taken off him by one of the Valley Christian defenders. So Valley Christian, it looks like their defense has bent back on itself a little bit, but now they're saying we're not breaking. We'll see what happens in these last two minutes. Long throw in, Waltz in and out of his hands. Scrambling to get back up and get back into position, but the Lancers keep it coming. Shot on goal, but that's uh, or a centering pass there that was over the head of Tyler Rowey. Had he had been able to get his head on that, he might very we might be looking at a 3-1 game. Valley Christian going to pick it up. They get the throw in. Valley Christian's going to need a clear. Now St. Francis picking it up again. They'll have a throw in over on the left side. That'll be Corey Hill that will take it for the Lancers. Long throw. And Eric Waltz again in and out of his hands, but his defenders were able to give him a break on that. And they do get it cleared momentarily, or at least they buy some time. So the Lancers now coming in. Now long pass, but that's headed away. Valley Christian able to keep it in, I believe. Now St. Francis 
playing it conservative. They don't need to worry about trying to go up before halftime. Now passing it back to their goaltender. Going to have to ward off a little bit of a Valley Christian rush here. I don't know if they're going to try to make a run at scoring or not. Headed in, and that's headed out. So Valley Christian will get the throw in. We're just seconds away at this point from the intermission. Now centering pass, but cleared by the Lancers. And that will go out of bounds probably about midway to midfield. Quarter field, if you will. Throw in for Valley Christian, back header, handled by the Lancers, but the whistle goes. Valley Christian's going to get a kick at this, I think. St. Francis trying to arrange their men so they'll be able to handle whatever attack the Warriors throw at them. New man now taking a kick for Valley Christian. And headed in and deflected by the St. Francis goaltender. The Warriors keep it in. Now another attempt. And the St. Francis goaltender, who is either Jacob Taylor or Willem Kelson. I don't have his number there. But he'll drop kick it out of there. Valley Christian handles it. Now St. Francis. A real struggle, but St. Francis is going to come in, come out of that with possession. Pass it back now to Holland. To Castaneda, back to Holland. Holland passing up on the left side. And that will bring us to the intermission. We're one half done with this varsity soccer match, and the score is St. Francis 2, Valley Christian 1. We're a mobile massage company, and we bring massage therapy and yoga to the corporate workplace. We started this business in order to bring more awareness to corporations for health and wellness. This is a nice perk that they can offer their employees, and it says, hey, we care about your well-being. We look forward to bringing massage therapy and yoga into your corporate workplace. We're back here at St. Francis High School and Ron Calcano Stadium for the second half. The Lancers coming into this half leading two to one, but they had quite a scare uh, in the first half because the Valley Christian Warriors were able to draw first blood. They scored first and they kept up a pretty good uh, run of pressure on the Lancers. And the Lancers in fairly quick succession were able to get two goals out of that. Uh, so much more familiar territory for the Lancers now than it has been in the past. In the second half, if history tells us anything, St. Francis should rack up one more goal. Valley Christian, not so much. They don't tend to score as well, or actually just about the same, in the second half. So we'll see what happens. By the way, I now have an uh, updated Valley Christian roster, thanks to my producer there. That's Jeremy Tubia. He's a senior, and he'll be doing the throw-in for Valley Christian. That's over to Alec Uimatsu. Taken off them by Tyler Rowey. 
Now pass up and Rowie's not in the neighborhood, so that one's gonna go back to the Valley Christian Warriors. Goal kick coming now. High and just about to midfield and the Lancers pick it back up. That was Rowey, intended for Mendoza there, but that's gonna go out and so Valley Christian will get the throw in there. Getting just a little cloud cover above us, no chance of rain, almost fog but just enough to add a little bit of contrast in the sky. Now passed over. St. Francis, that's trapped there by Colin Hamilton. Now he passes over to Ryan Mayer. Mayer heading it backwards, that's to James Holland. Holland, the captain, to Abraham Ramirez. Ramirez to Mayer. And to Castaneda, Castaneda with a long pass. Once again, nobody in the neighborhood. So Valley Christian will put the ball back into play in just a second or two. And there it comes. Now Valley Christian, but St. Francis coming up with it again, making a third run now. Now along the right side, that's Tyler Rowey. <clears throat> Rowey looking for a centering pass. He passes back to Mendoza, and that's deflected off of a Valley Christian defender. I didn't see who that was that got the deflection. But San Francis will get the throw in in any case. Long throw, and that one's going to be headed over the top. The Lancers seem to be picking up pretty much where they left off in terms of pressuring Valley Christian. Almost all of the game so far, of course, we're only three and a half minutes into the second half, but practically all of it's been played in the Valley Christian portion of the field. Valley Christian needs to get a run going here, and they do. Or do they? St. Francis is able to get it again. Valley Christian needs to get a clear and they need to get some momentum. St. Francis not letting that ball escape. They want more goals. There's a, I guess you could call that a shot on goal, but that seemed more like a centering pass. And that was from Corey Hill coming along the right side. That was a bit of a long shot. Goaltender putting it back into play again. Here it comes. Headed, headed twice. And now kicked by Castaneda. Ramirez trying desperately to get that one, but that one just crossed over the line. And that'll be put back into play by Valley Christian. Long throw. The Lancers maintain possession. Now Valley Christian trying to get it out with a short pass, not quite able to do it. Now they put it back to Holland. Holland who's kind of acting as a sweeper almost. Here come the Lancers. They get past that defender and a little bit more work there for the Valley Christian goaltender. KMVT Sports is brought to you with help from our sponsor, Altos Mobile Massage. Massage has been proven to reduce stress and improve well-being. Healthier and happier employees do better work. Altos Mobile Massage brings the massage to you. Sometimes a little pressure is a good thing. We've got a St. Francis player, that's Tyler Rowey, who's slow in getting up.
And he looks just to be a little bit shaken up. The referee's talking to him. Getting some support from one of his opponents. And now we're just about ready to get the ball put back into play. That one comes flying in. St. Francis getting control of it yet again. Now coming up the right side, that's Corey Hill. Hill's looking for a centering pass and that one just onto the back of the goal. If he'd had a couple more degrees to the left on that, that might have been very dangerous territory. We might almost be in a 3-1 game. That is the fourth or fifth run that has ended in a Valley Christian goal kick. So Gary St. Clair, the Valley Christian coach, probably wondering what's going on with his defense. Well, right now what's going on with them is that they've got a battle on their hands. That was Corey Hill running in trying to get that away from the goaltender. He'll put the ball in play again. Drop kick, that's kind of a line drive, and that didn't get very far. Valley Christian now trying desperately to get something going. Now, Uematsu trying there, and now that would have been a sure offside trap if St. Francis had pursued it. But once again, the Valley Christian goaltender staying busy. Now the Lancers pick it up again. Going to make another run at it. That's Hamilton. Hamilton back to Giannopoulos. Now to Holland. Holland being held back there a little bit. Now back to the St. Francis goaltender. And he'll pass it out to one of his fullbacks. Coming along the right side. Valley Christian breaks it up. Are they going to keep possession? Yes, I think they are. Now a centering pass. Cleared by St. Francis, but not quite enough as Valley Christian will keep possession just inside the St. Francis part of the field. Throw in now, long one. Grant Anderson giving chase there for the Warriors. And that one was headed into the parking lot, but St. France or uh, Valley Christian will keep possession of that. Niviro Wijayarant Yaratne. <clears throat> Sorry, I hope I got that right. Okay. Doing the throw in there for the Warriors. Now the Warriors trying to keep it in. Dangerous place here for the Lancers. They're going to need to get it clear. Passing out to Mendoza. Mendoza coming up the right side. Now he's trying to dribble it. Now he's going to dribble it back to one of his colleagues. But the Warriors do keep it in. They might be able to capitalize here. Ooh, diving headbutt there. Didn't quite come off. Now Valley Christian. They're looking for a center. It's a shot on goal. And it is handled by the Lancer goalkeeper with not too much trouble. That was probably headed a little bit to the left of the goal anyway. That's the first shot on goal, I believe, by Valley Christian, but they're not letting up. They want to keep this ball in, but the Lancers are equally determined to get it out. That's Ramirez passing back to Holland. Holland back to his goaltender. Goaltender now to Mayer. And over to the right side. Pass over to Mendoza. Mendoza centering pass now to Mayer. Mayer back to Holland. And Holland's going to try to get... Whoa, there's an attack coming back up. Here come the Warriors. Ooh! Holland took that one right in the kisser. Throwing himself into the defense of that. But he appears to be okay. 
When you're six foot five, it's hard to get away from any shot above the waist, I can tell you that. Now, here come the Lancers, that's Corey Hill. Corey Hill with a long pass. It's broken up there. Now Mayer. Now Valley Christian. That was Zach Addison doing all the dribbling there. The whistle went. And it looks as if James Holland may need, he may have a bloody nose because he is holding his face and he did take a ball very hard to the kisser. So he may need to take a little bit of a break and collect his wits. Ball coming back into the St. Francis half and the whistle goes again. And the Valley Christian goaltender gonna be kicking it away, he'll try that again. Here goes the whistle. And now it's back into play. Headed by the St. Francis defense, that's Mendoza. Whistle goes, and St. Francis is gonna pick that one up. I think that might've been an obstruction call. Now it's back into play. Here comes Ryan Mayer for the Lancers in the center of the field. Pass it there to Halpern. Now way down along the right side. And they're gonna need to chase that one down. They've been using a lot of the game balls and those ones have gone all over the place on both the Lancer side and the Warrior side. And it would appear that the Warriors are gonna get the throw in here. And they do. Long throw, okay, back header. That one's also headed out. And I think Valley Christian's gonna pick this one up. Ticking down to about 27 minutes left in this contest. St. Francis holding on to a 2-1 lead. Now the inbound pass. That was Grant Anderson for Valley Christian, but I believe it may have gone off of Anderson and so the Lancers will take over possession. Throw in coming momentarily. There it is. And it's up the field. Woo, dangerous area here. And uh, Valley Christian is able to clear it, but St. Francis keeps it in. Corey Hill kicking himself saying, oh, why didn't I aim that one just a little bit more to the center? The fact that he was able to get a shot on goal with a very awkwardly angled ball says a lot for the 5'10 senior forward. Goal kick now to the Warriors. And that one gets over the head. And now St. Francis able to handle it. Headers all over the place today. There's Halpern. Centering pass and Hill racing for it. He's not going to quite make it there. And Valley Christian will come up with another throw in. Interesting thing about this Valley Christian squad, uh, I counted out of, uh, I don't know exactly how many are on the squad, but there are at least 15 young men on this team that this is their last season as Valley Christian Warriors. They are, so we have 15 seniors playing for Valley Christian today, and this may be their last time to play at St. Francis High School. And I think they would like to take a win home in as much as this has not been a terribly successful season so far for the Valley Christian Warriors. Now St. Francis trying to clear it. 
Pass over there to Rowey. Now Rowey back to the far side. Now back to the goaltender. He's going to pass it back to Rowe. No, and here comes Valley Christian. Collision there. By one of the attackers, the Warriors. Okay, long throw now by the Valley Christian goaltender, or the St. Francis goaltender. Now a real battle going on for the ball there. That's Uematsu against Hill, I think. Now St. Francis, long pass there. They were hoping that Diego Maldonado would be able to get down there for it, but he was well behind the ball. Now it's put back into a play. Hill now. Hill all by himself, looking for a place to pass it. Gets it off to Mendoza. Mendoza over to Mayer. Mayer back to Rowey. Lancer's playing it very conservative right now. Now Mayer. Mayer back to Rowey. Rowey looking for a target, and he'll take it back to his goaltender. That's got to frustrate Valley Christian. They're not going to get possession of this as long as St. Francis is playing it as cool as they are. Now that's headed back in by the Warriors. Some juggling there by Mendoza, but that'll go out. And Valley Christian will get the throw in. Let's see what they can make out of this. Throw in now, now dribbling into the center of the field. Now a long pass. And that one is called, that's Jeremy Tubia, who was in on that struggle for the Warriors. Jeremy, a senior striker. And he'll take the throw in. Throw in at the feet of mm -hmm. one of the strikers there, but whoops. St. Francis looking like they might get a clear, but now they're going to go back to kind of, I don't want to say a stalling tactic, but it's certainly keeping the ball out of Valley Christian's hands, except now it's going to, it is going to come back to them. Mm -hmm. Coming down to 22 minutes left in this one. Valley Christian knows they've got enough time so that they could get the equalizer. And St. Francis cannot get too comfortable because they know what this Valley Christian team can do as a complete surprise, which is what they experience in the first half. Or at least they better. Now St. Francis kind of playing pass the ball around. Christian Yun downfield there for the Warriors. Just waiting for a chance there, but the Lancers didn't give it to him. Now a throw in, coming in for Valley Christian. Now they're passing back. Uematsu. Ooh, one of the St. Francis. Okay, and the whistle goes. That may have been a trip or some sort of an obstruction. Tubia doesn't like that one at all. There was some, some momentum forming there for the Warriors, but they give up the ball now. And St. Francis, perhaps getting a little frustrated with playing the game in their own half, now boots it back up. Here's Mendoza along the right side, but the lineman's going to almost pick that one up as a pass. That'll go back to the Warriors. And that one, I believe, no. All right, that will go back to St. Francis. I thought that that had stayed in, but apparently a Valley Christian player kicked that ball out or forced it out somehow. So Mendoza will take the throw in for the Lancers. James Holland coming back into the game now for the Lancers. Good to see him back as he took a cannonball to the face a few moments ago. Throw in now by Mendoza. Headed. Headed again. 
Valley Christian trying to control. Now trying to get a centering pass, but not really anybody there to receive it in a light blue jersey. So St. Francis gets it again. There's Hamilton. Now Reckus. Reckus again. Passes back to Holland. Holland to Reckus. And Valley Christian takes it off him momentarily. Trying to keep their attack going. Long kick down there, but nobody there to receive it for the Warriors. So the St. Francis will pick up the ball again. So far in this second half, what we're seeing is kind of a lack of continuity on the part of Valley Christian. They've played defense fairly well. They haven't allowed any more goals, but they have not been able to get their offense really able to come together and chain together a good scoring run. St. Francis, on the other hand, has been very good at that thus far. And there's an attempted header by Mendoza, and that one was just a little bit high and wide. But an excellent attempt there by the senior defenseman. Now a goal kick coming. Under 20 minutes to go now. Headed. St. Francis controls. Now back to Holland. Holland's got some company. And Holland now back to his goaltender. Who passes that off to the opposite side. Mendoza now. Mendoza. Trying to clear it up. Long pass. St. Francis controls. They've got enough men. They're going to take a shot at it, and that's just wide and maybe a little bit high. And St. Francis caught Valley Christian sort of napping there. That was excellent teamwork there by the Lancers. And that comes back to the point I was making a moment ago, is that St. Francis is playing much more like a team so far in this half. Valley Christian has been able to clear it, and they've kept the ball from going into the net, but they have not been able to put together a cohesive... Oh! Oh, my goodness. That young man has taken a bad spill. Coach Gary St. Clair is out there to find out what in the world just happened. And we're going to have a yellow card there, I believe. And that'll be given to James Holland... Or at least he was right near it when the referee showed it. We're going to take a break in the action, folks. We'll be back to St. Francis High School in just a moment. We're a mobile massage company, and we bring massage therapy and yoga to the corporate workplace. We started this business in order to bring more awareness to corporations for health and wellness. This is a nice perk that they can offer their employees. And it says, hey, we care about your well-being. We look forward to bringing massage therapy and yoga into your corporate workplace. Valley Christian was able to get their player off the field there. He may have taken a knee to the face. He was down for quite some time. That's number five there. I don't have a name for that jersey number yet. But... He may be feeling that one for a while, but he was able to make it off the field on his own power. So we're back in the action here. S just under 17 and a half minutes to go in this one. Jeremy Tubia for the Warriors lining up to take the kick resulting from that yellow card. That yellow card was given to James Holland, number nine, by the way. Now it's put into play. Header. And that will be going off somebody's head. Awfully dangerous to try to do a header if you're in a big crowd. He's going to knock into somebody else's noggin if you're not careful. Now, Valley Christian controls. Coming along the left side and... Not sure who that one went off of, but I believe we may be looking at a Valley Christian corner kick. 
We haven't had many of those in this match so far. And it will be a Valley Christian corner kick. That may be either Anderson or Tubia taking the kick, but here it comes. Line drive kick, handled by the Lancers, but kept in by Valley Christian, and St. Francis was able, their goaltender was able to gobble that one up. So the Lancers dodge another bullet. Long drop kick there by the Lancer goaltender. Headers all over the place. Now a high kick there. That's Raymond Tran for the Warriors. He was pursuing, but now it's going to go back to their goaltender. Kind of off the side of his foot. There's a missed header there. Mendoza now handling it for the Lancers. Still Mendoza. Long pass and Corey Hill sent that one for a plane ride just to get that out of harm's way. Valley Christian will take it, but that could have been a very nasty situation. Now, Valley Christian taking it again. That was Estrada passing it back. Now Estrada again, centered now. Passing backwards. Now swept into the St. Francis end, but nobody there to pick it up. And the St. Francis goaltender, now he's going to have some company in just a second. But to avoid the offensive or the uh, offside trap, now he throws it out to Mendoza. Mendoza, long centering pass, but it's broken up. St. Francis maintains. Broken up again there. Mendoza. Yep. Now Hill. Hill, long pass over there to Hamilton. Hamilton coming along the left side, trying to get around. Tubia. Tubia now controlling for the Warriors. Whistle goes. Valley Christian will take it over. Fourteen minutes left to go in this one, but it is anybody's soccer game at this point. St. Francis does have the advantage, but Valley Christian has shown that they are full of surprises. Now controlled by the Lancers. That's Reckus. Reckus passed Maldonado. Now, Motagawa, and it's in the net! St. Francis coming away with another one. I believe that may have been Diego Maldonado, the defenseman and forward, a five foot eight senior who got, came away with that one. And the Lancers build on their lead. It's now 3-1. And St. Francis proving that the statistics, in this case, are not lying. Now Valley Christian has to face down mm -hmm. what has been historically their limitations. They are not a good second-half team, historically. But they are also a team that can surprise any opponent. St. Francis now trying to make another run for it. Here comes Juan Mendoza. Keeps it in, trying to pass it off, and that one will be going out, but St. Francis will keep control of it. No, I beg your pardon. Valley Christian got the throw in there. And they're trying to drive that one out to see if they can strike back a little bit. St. Francis once again getting back to their goaltender. Trying to get that offside trap going. Doesn't come off this time. Once again, back to their goaltender. And St. Francis realizing that they can't relax yet, but they may be closing in 
on taking this one home with them, so to speak. Of course, they're already at home. I think you understood. Uh, coming in and got past the goaltender, but wide to the right. And I think that may have been Abraham Ramirez. Ramirez, a sophomore defenseman. And we're looking at a corner kick for the Lancers. It's Mendoza will be making a kick for St. Francis. And a sharp angle there right over the uh, goal. Mm -hmm. Attempt to get it cleared there by Valley Christian, but here come the Lancers again. Coming over on the left side, dribbling and deflected. Now St. Francis, still controlling. That's Mayer. Hill there to pick it up. Valley Christian trying to defend one more time. Headed again, headed a third time, and that one will be out of bounds. Looks like we may be headed for another corner kick for the Lancers. This time, Diego Maldonado will be going for the corner kick. Seth Alberico got to feel, be feeling good about the way his squad has responded. Now with a 3-1 lead and looking for more. Here it comes. And past the whole crowd there, and Valley Christian able to clear in dramatic fashion. That one went up into the stands. I didn't see who hit that one. No, that was Raymond Tran, I believe, who was there in there on the clear. But St. Francis still has it on their end. Cleared again, and again into the stands. That is an emphatic clear, as we would say. And that was Joshua Estrada with the clear there before, I beg your pardon. Now defended by Valley Christian. They're able to get it over the first wave. Now struggle for it. St. Francis will retain possession. Throw in by Aiden, Aiden Geis, I think is his name. Number four. Geis again. No, he drops it. Tubia with the throw in. And he'll throw it back to his teammate. Now ball deep into Lancer territory. Hoping for that offside trap. Goalie rolls the ball out to the right side. St. Francis is going to go back to slow burn on the defense. Trying to keep Valley Christian from getting any sort of momentum, and so far they've been successful. Now here come the Lancers. Pass over to the left side. Here comes Geisa. Now to Motogawa. Motogawa. Long pass over there, headed. That was Shen Baronian, a senior midfielder with the header. But the goaltender is able to come up with it. High, not very long uh, drop kick there. Valley Christian controls. Long pass. That one went way up in the air. Tubia is down for the Warriors. He's clutching his face. I think he may have gotten maybe a knee or an elbow or a shoulder to the head. We'll take a break in the action. When we come back, we'll get the last seven minutes of this match. Jeremy Tubia is making his way off the field. 
I understand that he took a ball to the ribs or maybe to the kidney, but then after that he was grasping his head. So there may have been a secondary uh, injury, blow, whatever you want to call it. In any case, he'll be sitting on the bench now. He's being tended to. And the Lancers put the ball back in play. Or do they? A little bit of conversation going on. That's Castaneda, and now we're going. Now over to Hill. Hill, forward pass there to Baronian. Now Baronian to Motagawa in the center of the field. Long pass up the field to Maldonado. It's taken off him. There's Geisy. And Aiden Geisy, the junior defender, kicks that one into the hands of the Warriors. And they'll get the ball back. Six and a half minutes now left in this match. Now Valley Christian tussling for the ball, but here come the Lancers one more time. A lot of dribbling in the center of the field. Now over on the right side, and I think we have an offside. So Valley Christian will take that one again. That was Maldonado, who may have gone just a little bit too far in his pursuit of the ball. Goal kick now, put back in play. St. Francis, do they control or don't they? Valley Christian putting some pressure on now. St. Francis trying to work it out. Short passes, but now the Warriors have taken the ball off them. Looking, they're trying to, trying to work it in. Long shot wide to the left. But good penetration there. There's a lot of quickness with some of these. I think that was Zach Addison, number three, who's a midfielder. He's in his sophomore year, so he's got a good future of him for himself at Valley Christian. Valley Christian is going to take that throw in. That's Devin Splan. He's a senior defender. He'll get the throw in now for the Warriors. And a little bit of pushing and shoving over there in the corner. But the St. Francis goaltender comes to get it. Christian Yun making a play for it. Here comes the drop kick. And well on the way. Defended there by Valley Christian, but the Lancers pick it up. Pass there to Baronian. Baronian to Hamilton. Now on the far side, chance here. Centered in by Maldonado. Lancers trying to keep it in. Valley Christian and the whistle goes. There was some obstruction going there that I saw by one of the Valley Christian players. I don't have his name here, but and that player saying, me, you mean me? And the referee says, yep, you, that's what we mean. Shen Baronian, the senior midfielder now to take the kick. Coming up on three and a half minutes left in this one. Passed over to the right side of the goal. Momentarily fielded, and Corey Hill sends that one flying. Unfortunately, that's not going to do a whole lot for the scoreboard. But it is going to buy some time for the Lancers. And the Lancers right now are feeling, got to be feeling pretty good. Coming up on three minutes, they got a two-goal advantage. And in spite of the bumps and bruises that both teams have sustained in this one, They got to be feeling good about their chances in the next three minutes. Now fielded by the Lancers, taken off momentarily. 
That was Hiago Galdno for Valley Christian. And Devin Splan with the throw in. Valley Christian trying to keep it in. Inside pass. Now out to Geisy. Valley Christian controls, turning it up the field. Pass now to number 20. He's roaming all over the place, trying to get that back. He gets it back to one of his midfielders. Now Splan. Now back to their goaltender, but the goaltender mishandled that, did not trap it correctly, and St. Francis was all over it to rack up another goal on that one. 4-1 Lancers. And that time, Fernando Mendoza was one of the people involved in it but the Valley Christian goaltender got the worst of that one. He is sitting up, but not feeling too good. That may be the third or the fourth injury that has required a stoppage of play today, and I believe all of them have been on the side of the Warriors. We're going to take a break in the action, folks. We'll be back to St. Francis High School in just a moment. The Valley Christian goaltender was able to get up on his own power, but now he's gonna be walking off the field and he is walking up all on his own power. So they'll get a new goaltender in right now. I believe Peyton Miller, a 10th grader and wearing number one, I believe he'll be taking the goalie position. One of his colleagues there, I can't see what the Number is, but I believe that's Cameron Roffey will be coming off the field. My producer tells me that we have had four stoppages in play. Three have been injuries to Valley Christian, one to St. Francis, and that was James Holland. And Holland came back onto the action a few minutes later and got a yellow card for his troubles. Now the ball's at midfield as Valley Christian kicks off. Now in the final minutes of this match, St. Francis leading it 4-1. Valley Christian controlled it there for a minute. Now the Lancers clear it. Hitting and keeping control of it. Lancers realizing they have this one pretty much wrapped up. Valley Christian refusing it to go quietly. Here they come around the right side. That's Estrada. Now the whistle goes, and there will be a kick there for the Warriors. I think Shen Baronian may have been a bit too aggressive there in his coverage. Joshua Estrada going to be going for the kick there. Here it comes, headed towards the St. Francis goal and the goalkeeper able to snatch it out of the air. St. Francis keeping that lead to three goals. Now here come the Lancers. Whistle goes and Valley Christian will take it over. But the aggressiveness of the Lancers has been paying off this morning, and now we're into afternoon. Game began at 11 o'clock this morning. Here comes the Warrior inbound. Headed now by the Lancers. Valley Christian controls. Whistle goes. Now Valley Christian. Dribbling in, centering pass, now back to their forward. Coming into the center, now a cross field pass. But St. Francis takes it off him on a two on three. That was Estrada that was able to get it out. And that's it. 
it's all over. And we wrap this one up with the final score, St. Francis 4, Valley Christian 1. A lot of bumps and bruises in this one, but on a very pretty day, St. Francis comes away with a victory. This is Mike Messner saying, run for the roses, but don't be afraid and don't forget to stop and smell them. So long, everybody.